So listen, this is my deal, all right? We did an old world tour the other day, and I just... I wasn't satisfied with how I did it because a lot of emotional, you know, I, I had a lot of emotions while making that world, you know, and I want to represent it properly. So today we're going back and we're going to try again because last week my vibe was entirely off. I just felt bad the entire week. It was terrible. Oh my God. My glasses are filthy. Why didn't I clean these before the stream? Why is there a dog on the roof? Get down. Okay. As, as, as you have been told, this was my first home. This is where I began civilization. See, see this jungle wood and all of these mismatched woods here? Yeah, that's from basically when I first started out. All this wood came from the starter chest, okay? That's, that's why it's there. No other reason. Yeah, this used to be a garden, as I said, very cool. In-house garden, very modern. From there, we slowly, we slowly started to build out this way. We started to expand into this house. We built on top of the house that we previously had. Then I had this, and this was my home for a while. This also was a farm, and then it was a treasure room, and now it's empty. I can't explain to you why that is. It's just, it is. I'm sure you could go back on my YouTube page and you could find some old videos of me playing on this world. I'm sure. And then we got this upstairs like lounge area, which I think is very cool. And then we have the tower. Um, there's a flag up here, I'm pretty sure, and it has something on it. I don't know. I think it's, which, which side is this flag hanging off of? You'll see what I'm talking about in a second as soon as I find it. Ah, yeah, here it is. Here it is. So yeah, we started building this area, and this was really my first house in this wild land. And then, and then I built this bridge to over here, which is where the storage room is. It's very messy, very unorganized. I don't know where anything is. I mean, it has labels, but you know, who knows how reliable labels can be in this modern day and age, right? So yeah, we got this room and it was very cool. And then I built some stone stuff on top of it, which I ended up not liking. After I built that, I came down here. This wasn't here yet. This was not here, but this was, and I was building into this mountain and I started building like this, I don't know, like a cafe, kinda? It's more like a bar, if you, if you had to put a label on it. And also, originally there was just one chicken in here, the birds work for the bourgeoisie, it was like September 2019, right? That was the, the hottest meme, the dankest meme of the time. That's, that's all that there is really to this area. Um, I think, no, okay, we can do this now. Down here, is one of the things I am most proud. Oh, uh, one of the things I am most proud of in this world. It is this iron golem in particular. His name is Jerry, and he's a lovely fellow. I'm just kidding. Please get out of my way, Jerry. I'm, I I have things to go attend to. Okay, yeah. There we go. This underground village. Yeah, but there's this underground village, bro, and it's very cool. He right here, we tried installing a mo a. Uh, iron grinder but that didn't work it wasn't good to incorporate them because villagers were falling in and then burning alive you can see how i could get a couple of complaints from that so we had to remove it um but then yeah then through here oh i love that door so much no you can't come through okay that that was that was an early project re realistically um we go this way it's very cool and then and then we get to this one of the one of the biggest projects in this world that I worked on, and this was all originally just you know, trees. It was all trees before I got here. Do I have a little friend over here? Yeah, that's right. Um, this is my pet, Fox. His name is Lightbulb, although I never named him. But he he stays around because he has a torch in his mouth. And so when I have you know the special lighting effects on that uh, Optifine has. Wherever he runs around, a, a torch light follows, and I think that's very cool. So I called him Light Bulb, and he's very cute. He's my little pet, and this is li his little enclosure. He sleeps under the tree when it's raining. This was a fishing farm, I'm pretty sure. This little hut was my fishing hut. It was very cool. I got a lot of enchanted books, which we'll see later. But yeah, I built this guy very early on, way before that building, actually. I just said, I want a fountain here, and this is what I'm building. Th I got this, actually, from a... From a, a an online guide, I'm pretty sure. It's not it's it's not mine. Uh, then we come over here to 
the big house. Um, right here, you can see a full map of my entire area. But yeah, here we can see a full map of everything that we have. We'll get we'll get to everything in a minute, you know? We'll, we'll see everywhere. But yeah, in here, we have the room of treasure. And a creeper, apparently. Okay, so yeah, let's look at some of the treasure that we have in the treasure room, you know? We have this flag which was bun by my by my sister Olivia um you know she made it and I thought it was cool so I put it in here this is the first map ever it's a bit outdated that's not the first map that was ever generated see it's uh oh Oh, here it is. Okay, I got scared there for a second. Yeah, see, this is number one. This is map number one. Yeah, sorry, I don't know why that took so long. And then, we have my first big fishing rod. Well, you get an idea of- hold on, I'll just, I'll just- there. Now you know what it says. And then we have this area, up here. Don't know what it's used for, but it's green. I- I don't know. Thought it'd be cool and it was. Then we have this, uh, up area up here. So fun story about this, why why it's shaped like this is because in order to get, th I wanted to build this structure right here and there was mountain in the way. So I just, I, tr I flattened it. I just said, you're gone. <laughs> I, I destroyed it. Also, you can see a sheep up there. It is because at one point I was messing around with teleportation commands. I know that's not a good thing to do on a pure survival world. But hold on, let's let's see if we can take a look out into the fields real quick. Oh shoot, I'm going way too fast. I'm going way too fast. Yeah, see, here's a green sheep. And let's see, are there any more colorful sheep out here? Well, once upon a time anyway, there used to be a bunch of colorful sheep that used to roam around in these fields because I had a field full of teleporta- I had a field of multicolored sheep. They got loose due to a teleportation hack, and I never got them back. I just let them be free. Which, honestly, I think is a good thing, you know? Also, I forgot there's a cat up here on the roof. Don't know what he's doing. He's up here for some reason. Hi, buddy. Hi. You're comfy, huh? Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, we got, we got this castle. I wanted it to be a little bit more grand, but I really didn't know how to build. I still don't know how to build. <laughs> so this is what we got. Here's a funny little part of this, of this area that is a little obscure. Not many people know about it, but I, I feel that it's worth sharing because it's a part of the history. So yeah, um, a while ago I was friends with a guy. I'm not friends with him anymore just because of complications, differences of opinion. And he was in, I knew him in high school, right? And he said, yo, I want to play on your world. I want to play in your Minecraft world. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll get you a house. And this was his house. And he only joined like once and it honestly wasn't that great of an experience because he just, we didn't vibe that much. Y you feel me? But this was his house and in here I had a pumpkin, uh, a carved pumpkin with a curse of binding on it. And so as soon as he walked through his door, he, uh, he got a pumpkin on his head and it was very funny. That's, that's a fond memory I have of this place. Okay, so now that we're done with this area, we are going to go to the, uh, the, the middle area, really. We're gonna see what's up there. Um, over here is a studio that I just thought would be cool to have. I don't, I don't know. I just built it and thought it would be dope. It kinda is. See, I mean, I can sit in the chair and, and hang out, look at me go. And then we got this. I kind of made it as like a warehouse or something. I thought it would be cool. Nothing else really to this building. Over here, we have a creeper that lights up at night. That's cool. It took a lot of figuring out how to get all the redstone to light up all of those uh, squares into such a little space. Hello, creeper, aw man. All right, so this room is my main storage area for this world. This is where everything is. I have, I have so much stuff. It's honestly ridiculous. Um, enchanting room, we got some, <laughs> some maps. I haven't explored this one yet. Now, this is a farming machine. Unfortunately, in this version of Minecraft, in 1.16, it is currently patched. So we're, it doesn't work, but you can see the kind of loot that you would be able to get off of this. What I would do is I would, I would go to bed and I would sit, actually, hold on, where is he? I would bind my fishing, uh, I think my right click to my enter button on my keyboard and I would have my Bowser <laughs> amiibo. 
I would sit him down on the enter key and I would fish all night. And by the time I woke up, the thing would be full and I'd be like at 50 XP. But now it is patched and I just have it here. I don't know why I still have it here. It's still here. That's the point. Nothing cool over here. This is just storage for the fishing system, you know? Uh, then there's this room back here, which is uh, decorated with a, th a certain theme. I'm sure you can tell. Um, and it has... Just a bunch of enchanted books that I got from that farm, that OP farm. Just a whole bunch, of, so much enchantments. It felt like I was cheating. It, eh, I kind of was cheating, but you know, I digress. And then we come down here, and I think we've already been through this area already, but, well, no, we, we, let me, t let me show you where we've already been. We've already been down here, and that leads to the underground village, right? This way... We can find... I don't know what this room was. It was kind of like an armory room. I had... Check this out. This is an armor stand switcher. How cool is that? And sometimes... I think it's missing a third one. That's why it doesn't work all the time. Or it's just broken and I'm bad at Minecraft. Um, but yeah, it spawns these little... It, it shoots up these little guys. Um, but then we have this. This was originally an underground cave. Well, I mean, all caves are underground. But you get the idea. This this was my cave. Um, and in here, this is... Okay, so why are you off your podium? Who said you could leave? Thank you? Okay, thank you. Um, this room is just full of end chest loot. How do you do that? Again, it just takes a while. You know, I played a lot on this world. It was a, it was a, a point for me to vent, you know? It, it was not only big as a Minecraft project, but it was also big for me emotionally. It was some way for me to express myself, I suppose. I know as cringy as that may sound, but this is this is what I channeled a lot of my energy into. And like, before I turned 19, in my first 18 year while I was depressed, this is what I, I mean, while I was more depressed, correction, while I was more depressed, this is what I was working on, and, and it's one of the biggest projects that I've ever done in survival. W one thing while we're still down here, we go down here, um, and then we have this. Um, I was just messing around, I'll, I'll be, I'll be dead ass. This was all commands. I, I mined out only a small portion of this. Only a small portion, and I used a lot of the cobblestone that I got from this to do fuel something else. I don't remember what I was going to put down here, but it would have been cool. I know that much. And as you can see, this, this ladder that leads down to there leads up into my old house. Into the, into the first house that I got. So now we've made a full circle, but we're not done yet. Um, we've got this room, which was going to be an enchantment room... But I just, I just didn't, I guess. So now it's just a hole. This is a smaller farm, has some green sheep, other things. Um, and then we come over here and this is where I keep the rest of the animals. We got llamas, which I think are very cool. One cool thing, ah, yep, see? Here's one cool thing about the llama. I had a guy come onto the server once and he made a bunch of pieces of paper and put them in the llama storage chests. Why did he do this? I don't know, but this is the paper. Uh, I don't know why he did this, but now I have two of them. But yeah, this is where we keep- this is- this is the hub of colorful sheep. I love them very much. <gasps> Hold on. Friend? Is that friend I see? Um, over here, right next to the sheep pen, we have a tank. Why do we have a tank? Couldn't tell ya. But I made it very early on, and I think it's I think it's very nice. I think this is a very nice tank. Um, over here, we got a cute little berry farm. This is nothing but aesthetic. Okay, this is this has no no point except to look cute. That's it, and it does its job. It's cute. Um, up there, obviously, I'm sure you've spotted. We have a tower. We'll come over here. And we will see this giant wall that I built. There was supposed to be a castle in here. Like I got a beacon, like a fully decked out beacon. And I put it under, under this lake. And I just never, I never used this place to build a castle. Unfortunately, should have done it. It would have been dope, but I just never did. 
Um, over here we have the unfinished doghouse. Very sad. Because, like, it's only unfinished because half the windows are not, like, most of the windows, actually. Most of the windows are not filled out, which is very sad. But yeah, we have an upstairs and a downstairs, and it's a doghouse. Where all the dogs live. This is the stables. And now, before I show you the names of these two odd-looking horses, I must tell you, they aren't horses. They're polar bears. And they're actually gay lovers. That's right, gay lovers. First up, we have Polly Bear. And then Bruce, I think, is the second one. Bruce, come here, please. Hold on, I have to... So yeah, we got Polly Bear, and we have Bruce. I had an intention to get them into a proper enclosure. This was just temporary, and I just, I never did it. And I apologize. I love them very much. I, I will get them in a proper home eventually, I promise. Okay, now is a good time to go down to the beach. Is Polly Bear Polly? Um, for canon purposes, and because you said it, yes. I was just saying Polly Bear because polygons. That's it. That's 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 my thought process. Um, this is a fountain that I built a while ago, and I was gonna build the uh, enclosure over here. That's what that space was for. Now here's the sad part. You can already guess what this area is. It's a graveyard. I'm quite sad. We have Radical the dog died on September 25th of 2019 at 4.05 p.m. And then we have Unknown the cat struck by lightning. I'm not kidding. There was a thunderstorm and he died. Chat, I know you're saying that Unknown the cat's death is my fault, but I must remind you. I don't control lightning. I don't know how hard of a concept that is. These pumpkin fields that I did cut through, um, this is the field that I where I source the pumpkins for my giant pumpkin. As you know, in every world I am ever in, I always have to build a giant pumpkin. It is my tradition. I always make I always get a bunch of pumpkins like this, and I make a giant pumpkin. Because I don't know, I think it's funny, I guess. I don't know the reasoning behind why I do it. It's just I do it. And then we have this, the arena. This is all built over the water, by the way. So yeah, if you look, it's 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 pretty it's a it's a it's a far way down. This arena was built uh kinda kinda not how I liked it because you can see how it's kind of bowing at the ends. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's not it's not right. I wanted to be a perfect circle, but it just didn't work like that. This was gonna be a horse track because we have horses. I'll show you the horses in a minute, but this is where we were going to race them, but there was like a world error and some, uh, some, something happened. We come over here and we have the fortress. I, again, don't know why I built it, just did. I was feeling like I wanted a fortress, so I built one. I was eventually going to extend it over here, but I just never got around to it. Again, there's a lot of unfinished projects in this world. Now we can get over to a, a, a very fun part, this. You, you've probably seen it on the maps and all the other things. And no, it, it, this is a racetrack that I built for boats. I, I went and got a whole bunch of ice very far away, and I built this racetrack. So you can just zoom around. Okay, it's, it's kind of hard to control, but you can zoom around and you have a great time. Oh, yep, here we go. Here we go. Woo. Oh, oh, see, uh, gotta turn around. Mario Kart, it's basically Mario Kart. And then you come over here, boom, you get hit by some pistons. See, there's some, like, slime stone. Slime stone? No, slime, slime block mess going on over there. And then, and then, let me get back in the cart, please. And then you come through here, and then fireworks would go off. But I don't have, I don't have them loaded right now. And these, these don't explode on purpose, so I won't be using those. But yeah, that's that's a racetrack that I have because I I just do I guess. Y you're noticing a trend that a lot of the stuff in this world I just have because I thought to myself, huh, it'd be cool if I had blank and then I built it. See, see, there was a chunk error of some kind. I don't know. It was like this land was shifted somehow. I don't know exactly how it works because that used to line up with this. But then something happened. Slimestone in Minecraft? Dude, I wish. That'd be fun. I don't know what it would do, but it'd be cool. 
Like a underground slime biome. For oh wow, I should I should work for Mojang. I should work for Mojang. This is the stables. As you know, there was a uh, there was the racing thing over there, and this is where we kept the horses. This is peppercorn. This is cherry, and then this one is invisible. No, I'm kidding. There's nothing there. Um, and then we have this little little house. I think it's cute. Almost fell down the hole. Yeah, I have the, so they they put this hole here for some reason to trap people, I guess. But yeah, uh, somebody built their house underneath this other person's house. I built this house for a couple that wanted to join my world and play with me. And so I built them this house. Obviously, it's been a while since anybody has lived in it, but still, I uh, I could I could have done better. Uh, this is a little pond. It has some beautiful fish in it. Some beautiful fish. Um, this is the creeper. Uh, this is the creeper farm. It gives me gunpowder. That's about it. This used to be a sugarcane farm. More sugarcane. Nothing cool to see. And then we have the copious amounts of melons. Again, this is another build where I just said, "Huh, I w I, I want to build something." So I built this. This was actually my background photo for a while, and it was very cool. Um, and then and then we have this. This used to grow seaweed, actually. There used to be, I used to plant seaweed down here in the bottom and it would grow. And the idea was that I was going to use it for fuel, but that just didn't happen. And then over here we have the giant pumpkin because I, I again, as I've said, I always got to build one and this is mine. This is my giant pumpkin and it houses my nether portal and a bunch of chests that have nothing in them. Okay. So yeah, we are headed over this way to a little town this was built by my friend rain it's it's not my building style and they're oh they're such a good builder nothing much nothing much to it it's a it's cute it's cute i'll give you that and then we come over this way we go across this fiery bridge and we get to this little area this is rain's house that she had with her boyfriend yeah, I always remembered, I, I always had this spot in mind because I wanted to build something in it because it's such a cool area. Look at this. Okay, and we got another portal, but besides that, we come down this way. We come down, we come down a little bit over here, and we've got a dock. Look at this. We've got a dock, but that's not all, folks. If you come this way, if you come this over here, over on this way. El Goblino Ben, he used to live here in this little hole behind the waterfall. It, it's such a cool little place, man. He's got a storage room down here. Um, over here, we were wanting to build a, uh, we were wanting to build pirate ship. That's what it's called. We were wanting to build a pirate ship. There's a hole over here. There's a hole over here that they were building out for a, a chunk border kind of thing. I mean, a, uh, uh, an, a chunk error. That's what, that's what it's called. And they were building it out. And yes, okay, okay, fun story about this. I, I know I'm switching topics super fast, but just hear me out. Look up there. Do you see that? A while ago, when more people were populating the server, we had all, we all had Elytras, and we were all trying one day to go through that hole. So listen, I'm, I'm gonna try and fly through it. Okay, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully I can do it. I think think it's just woo! oh that was clean it was clean for a first try look at me go boys okay we're heading back home we're gonna head back home to the main area let's get over here and we're gonna go through real quick we have this track system in hell it's very cool very do oh oh here we are here we are we made it express shipping that's me this is where my other base is I mean, it's it's kind of like an outpost, but it's still here. You know, I spent some time here. It's also where I set up a, a farm of particular interest. And then we go over here and we see the chorus farm. I, I don't know why I built it. I just thought it'd be cool. It looks cool, certainly. But yeah, it just it lives out here now. And I'm very happy with it. I should have put the end pieces into the ground so it made them look like they were growing right out of the desert, but you know, I digress. I think that's it. I think we've seen everything that there is to see. I did not mean for this tour to take so long, but again, there's just so much stuff here. You'll love to see it when a Minecraft world is, is grown, you feel?